What is up? What is up? What is going on? We are right back at it, honestly. There is nothing really stopping us from just going and beating the sky one more again. So we're going to do it one more time. Um, I might end up upgrading Hydra Helix. Alright, so I don't think there's anything on the back walls here. So I'm going to go ahead and start marking these guys off. Oh, complete miss there. Kind of flew out of arc. I guess that's a good reason to have trajectory. Alright, we couldn't miss there. I think I got that tail off. Gosh, those things are so beefy. Like, super beefy. Like, annoyingly beefy. Got the tail off, though. I don't get why you would use that, but okay. Oh, I didn't notice I had dark on my daggers. <laughs> like, I don't need to hold back at all. You're gonna give me dark. One mo. Actually, yeah. That ability is great. Look at you. No tail. Come in. The dark crits. I love them. I love them so much. You can barely see them, even in the sliding, but they're great. Just look at all the crits just hitting them. <laughs> Every time I shoot them with a, a, ten, a tenfold flurry, it's a crit. Like even with their tail still on, it's just wrecking their faces. So why did I come back here twice? Well, the real reason is because a lot of these items you end up needing twice anyway, so it, it makes sense. Um, would it make more sense for me to come back down here with fire, though? With fire, what you call it? I would just go as is. So, I'll swap weapons, Scalding Razors, Hydra Husk. I don't think I bought any... Yeah, I did. Cool. Able to fight the just stay right here. Because we got a pure pure drop, a pure pure crystal drop. And you end up needing those a lot more than you would expect for... Uh... Alright. 
So what we'll do first... Can I... Please? Yeah? No? Okay, fine. It's, okay, don't do that. Let me take you down. So that's head number four coming first. It'd probably help if I got a little bit higher on him, but I don't have the gloves of might right now, so I don't really feel like climbing. White Hydro Scale. Alright, that's one. For this... This time we're not actually aiming to... Uh, perfect. Way extra damage to the head. I'd really appreciate it. If he stopped flailing, though. Wasting all my stamina. Alright, so that's head number three down. Oh wow. Took it down as just like a just one piece. Oof. Maybe I should be a little more careful there, huh? And I have no idea where the freaking head went. Alright, whatever. This looks like a good spot. Yeah, it doesn't flail as much if you hit this part of the neck. Oof. Where'd the head go? It's not the head. Here it is. Hydro lifeblood. Cool, we're happy with that. Just kind of walk around, grab whatever you can off the ground. Uh, am I going to run out of... No. I've burned through 30 of them fighting this guy. That was head number one, it looks like, that I took off last time. Yeah, this is head number two, that's still left. So the thing about taking the heads off with fire, even though it would be... What the heck? No idea where that stump just went. Oh, it's over there. Oh, got it. Cool. We'll cut it right here. Here he goes. Stop it. I got it. You only got one head left. Now you already messed up. Alright, there's no point in trying to run this guy down. Anyway, we do more damage from afar. So, one, two, three, four. And we'll go ahead and get ready to kill him.
I'm gonna say we do more damage from a farming from a short distance. Uh, a little bit expensive, but it'll help. That makes me want to try that with just the Hydra Husk. Um, depends on if I get some Poison Fangs. If I don't get any Poison Fangs, then I'll try that again. With just the Hydra Husk. Although, it was the, it was the buff that really helped out there, so. Let's see if we can do that faster with just the buffed Hydra Husk. I just go. Is the pawn able to fight at the arisen side? I am thankful. Yeah, no. Looks like I just got a whole bunch of white scales. Alright. Let's try it. Let's try it again. No, it would help if... Perfect. That was super quick. Oh, did it already regrow back ahead? Look how fast it regrows heads. Oh gosh. Yeah, so that's why you kind of want that fire. That's why I said if I had to Hydra Husk with the fire, it would be faster. Stop it! Yeah, I've already run out of what you call it. Yeah, it just basically grows them back instantly. I think the best I can do is... No. Even when it did headshot, that didn't actually take its head off. But that does make me want to try something different. What? Why didn't it explode? It was already in the air. Yeah. Let's get rid of all the small things first. That's just gonna be annoying. 
And I'm just gonna take damage from him like this. We learn a little something about standing directly in front of it. That's one head. So that was head number four, right? Yep. Lifeblood. We just kind of work our way inwards from there. Work our way inwards from... Alright. This is actually a good spot to hit both heads. Whenever possible, you want to be double dutying. That was head number one by accident. Let me get down so I can actually figure out where it went. There we go. I hate not being able to grab the drop. Poison Hydrofang. Nice. I want it. Thank you. That's head number two and almost a death. Oh, well, that explains why I'm not healing. I have no idea what was under it. Looks like a Hydra Lifeblood if I can't find it. sucks because I'm barely holding on. So, my new plan is to cut off two heads. Oh, come on, let me grab one! Stupid thing keeps moving and knocking me down. Alright, here's the game plan. We cut off two heads, and then we buff up and we uh, shoot off the other two. Alright, now it's full power again. That's not bad. Alright, that's one. That's what takes forever.
doesn't mind doing some freaking damage? Golly. Like, help me cut this stupid head off. Oh, let's get up higher. Alright, this is really starting to annoy me. I'm just gonna go for it. Hope it works. It worked. Looks like a head came out of nowhere. Or is that just one of the ones I shot off? No, that's just attached to his body. Oh well. Hopefully get some decent drops. Wake stone, scale, poison fang, scale. Wake stone. Ah, alright. I don't hate this. Alright. <clears throat> Let's keep moving. Where do I want to go next? I want to go to, um... I want to go get some new stuff. Grand Sword. I want to go to Chamber of Estrangement one more time. This will be like the third time I'm going there. Um, I want the Gold Lion helmet. And now, at your pick, what will it be? Mm. I might need to sell some stuff in order to make that money. In order to buy it, we're gonna go to price of artifacts for now. We're also gonna go handle Bardishes. What will it be? Have your pick. Come again soon. If the item have your pick, what will it be today? What will it be today? Have your pick. Any you like. What will it be today? Understood. <laughs> well, I'm on my way down there. I've decided what I'm going to use in order to uh, supplement the two great items that I already have. So I'm going to use um, the Gloves of Might, which increase your climbing speed. What will it be today? So I need to upgrade those. What will it be today? And then I'm also going to use the the helmet I was just talking about. Um, other. What will it be? Has your come up? Let's go. So estrangement's the third one now, if I'm not mistaken. On the north side. So we're going we're going to watch for um, this is the north side. And we kind of point it this way. Okay, cool. Um, that's eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, I don't know. I messed up. All right, we're falling. This time we start straight. So one. I think that's eight there. Ten. Eleven. Alright, this is right. I think this is right. There we go. We 
mayor. We probably have enemies in here, right? Yes, we do. Oh gosh, that didn't hit anywhere near as hard as I expected it to. Oh, well, it would probably help if I wasn't using <laughs> Hydra Husk. Let's uh, let's actually swap out all of our equipment. Um, I'll swap that in for now. There we go. And then we can return to neutral and then pull out the strongbow. I said pull out the strongbow. How long does it take to go back to neutral for you, dang ranger? I guess warrior has that going for it. Gosh. Oh, I'm blind. No, I might be blind, but I can still see you casting, like, seriously. I saw it just now. Where is it? There it is. I don't know where it's at. That is a pawn. Oh great, now it's dead and I have no idea where it was. Oh, looks like it's over there. I don't think I got any drops from it though. Oh, that arc is so annoying. I just aim a little low to the right. No, that wasn't good. Let's try just a little low. Maybe I should play with trajectory. Whoa! Almost looked like I hit it and got it to stumble. Good. I just need you on my side so I can. Oh, yo, yo. Uh, I shouldn't have gone backwards. Did I break it? Yeah.
Dang. That's tough. Idea what what quest I just completed? What was that? Two metal golems suppression. Okay, cool. Three cursed carvings, dire wolves, geosaurians. Geosaurians is just something I should get after, honestly. Cockatrice, gargoyles, seabirds. <laughs> There's mad stuff I need to kill. Male bandits, sulfursaurians. Now we're just waiting for something to... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, we don't really care about what's in this box. More earrings, yeah! What the dignified earring gives you? I don't know if it's left or right. I think it's... I think it's this way. I think it's east. Yeah, because the entrance was on the north side, right? Or something like that. Yeah. It's weird. Because that doesn't actually make sense. But, yeah. It works. Because if the entrance was on the north side, then it should have been at the south. That's fine though. We got that. Um other special other Yup. Yup. Choose as you will, sir. Um and yeah, we'll buy. Philosopher's Robe. You can't see it on me, but I think you can see it on her. It looks really cool. It's part of the holy set, I think. Dragon Skill Arm, not bad. All kinds of earrings that you don't care about. This a dignified one. Petrification. Yeah, I guess... Dying of petrification would be kind of undignified. And yeah, we'll, we'll see where I have to go at with this next. So, that's the Golden Lion helmet. And with that, we have all of the equipment we need. Now we just need to get it all up to three stars so we can drag forge it. So this is just a better version of what I was wearing before. And I guess it drops in... And what you call it. It drops in uh, torpor resistance, unfortunately. But it increases in all, like just about everything else. Including the resistance to striking and knockdown. Can I see what it looks like up close? Yeah. It's actually golden compared. Versus gold. Choose as you will, sir. I am ever. All right, cool. Let's head on back up, and let's uh, see about getting all the stuff I'm wearing upgraded so we can. Uh, nah, let's. See if we can get all this stuff upgraded so we can um take it to the Earth Dragon. And try to get it Dragon Forged as well. That's really the name of the game right now, is getting all your stuff Dragon Forged as well as beating Earth Dragon. Oh, 
So I've got a little bit of a lead on just because I've already Dragon Forged my No, I didn't Dragon Forge Longbow, that's right. I didn't because I had to reset after that. So I wanna do that. Black Fringe Claws, I'm short on. I can go try to farm some real quick. Evil Eyeball times three. Do I have any of those? I have one Evil Eyeball. So I need three Evil Eyeballs, two Claws, Black Fringe Claws. I have enough per pure crystals. Probably just enough, just enough per pure crystals. Um. I knew I was going to need something like that eventually, though. Marshall's Bracer is already good to go. Holy Kuisis, no idea what it takes to three-star that. Probably takes a actual, um... Let me look. Holy Kuisis. It probably takes an actual, um... Yeah, Great Dragon Claw. That's a, that's a early drop. So I'm not going to worry about that. We're going to, we're going to get to that when we get to it. Blood Decanter. That should be fairly... Um, alright. The masterworks all come again. <gasps> Seen this? Tis. I'm sure you'll find out, do you? I'm sure you'll find out. Why not leave it with me a while? What I will do is, I'll, um, what do I want to dupe? Do I want to dupe the evil eyeball? I feel like my chances of getting evil eyeballs are slightly higher. I want to dupe the purpure crystal because then I don't have to rest, uh, several days for it. Let's see what you got. Um, I want to buy the Saurian Band Daggers. Because I ever do want to go back down there. Or if I want to start hunting Geosaurians, I have them on me. Alright, what does it take to upgrade Saurian Bane? Another thing I should get that I don't have is... Where is it? There it is. Oh, that's not it. Chilling razors, yeah. Chilling razors would be really nice for the ghosts. But we're not we're not gonna worry about that. Scalding razors is still doing its job for now. Twenty Saurian tails? I just don't have enough money. I'm about to say like what? That's crazy. Um, Alright, I have way too much gear on me. I gotta figure out what to do with some of it. I'd say my first priority is to Dragon Forge the Russet Bell. So, let's get rid of the Hydra Husk for now. Storing Bane I don't really need, but I'm going to keep it with me. Just so I remember to upgrade it when I get some money. Um, yep, Lion Lord. Yeah, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to um, gonna keep pushing in this direction. Wake Stone Shard. I'm going to have to eventually refill. Okay. I guess we're going to go get some of that 
stuff we need. Two black freakish claws to start with. Actually, it's not seven days, it's three days to reset the, the Saurians. It should be pretty quick, actually. Good, Matt. It's evil work. What can I do? You seem tired. So be it. I keep forgetting to check to see what he's actually saying. I hope, hope he says it again. Alright, so we want to get lucky and get two black fruit claws from this Gore Cyclops, or Gore Chimera. Oh wait, seabirds are on the menu. Or I'm just gonna suck at aiming. Oh, got one. Alright, as always, best way to start a battle against an enemy that can be torpored with is with rusted longbow. Stop running away. There you go. Go on the ground. Actually, in a cat shot, it's use 11, right? If I wanted to do damage, I probably should have been using this. Scale, main. Doesn't look like I got two claws. No luck there. And honestly, what I should have been doing was, uh. What I should have been doing was trying to kill the, uh. The line from the start, even though it's gonna be harder for. A, uh. Even though it's gonna be harder for. My, uh. My vocation. I should have been trying to kill that line from the start. Okay. How should I, find you? But I will start with the right stuff this time.
Where these birds at? Oh, I see him. Give up! Stupid snakes. I swear, in game right now it's just been a snake killing fest. How are you still alive? Oh, looks like the lion's dead. I think. Yeah, that was the main. I like that little clock sound that it makes when you uh, claw, scale, horn, snake skin. Ah, uh, only one claw. Okay, that's fine. How long does it take for Grancis to regen? Hopefully only three days. Let's find out. We'll find out. It's either three days or seven days. That's the answer to most of these, to most of these uh, questions. So let's go take a nap. Good news, Matt. It's evil. What can I do you for? You sing time. So be it. One. And actually, while we're doing this, we can get a prepare crystal out the box. Unfortunately, there's only like one pair of gloves that have this bonus on it where your climbing speed is doubled. And that just kind of makes it the best pair of gloves that you can use for any class that needs to climb um, until the very end game where you can get bonus buffs on some like BBI level 3 stuff. Although maybe trophy bracers might be comparable. All right. Let's just let's just clone this. And while we're cloning it, we'll also get an extra one. That'll be our plus one. Um, I don't know where. To, oh, there we are. I'll not be. I'm sure you'll any. 
Yikes. So much money. I need to make money. Like, sooner or later. So, what was I trying to do all this for? Sorry, in vain. I know I'm too broke for that. So, that's number four for that. Evil Eyeball. Purple Crystal is actually a go. So, yeah, three star gloves of might. Not even close. Don't even have to worry about it. Blood decanter for alchemical hosen. Honestly, alchemical hosen is only on me because reasons. Um, evil eyeball. Where do you uh, go to get evil eyes? Where Where do I find an evil eye at? Let's find out. Evil eye. Because after the first one, where they pop up. Chamber of Sorrow. Where's Sorrow at? Mm, Sorrow is number 13, so it's pretty far down. On the bar, on the top left. Okay. Um, let's just go for it. Alright, so that's number 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13, 13, okay, fine, I'm just going to miss it. One, I don't even have to count until I get number 8, honestly. That's 8, right here. What are we dealing with? Resolution? Where's resolution? Oh, I dropped one farther down than I needed to. This is number 14. Alright. Reminds me of that Aaliyah song. We need a resolution. We need a resolution. Ooh, that beat is so hard. I never even liked that song, but the beat just goes so hard if you really think about it. One. Eight, ten, eleven, thirteen. Missed it. I need to get closer to the top left in order to make sure I can grab it. Let me get closer to the top left. Here we go. Alright, that's eight, ten, eleven, thirteen. Go ahead and Identify this place real quick. Sorrow. Yes, sir. Here we are. Oh, it's one of these. Yeah. It's one of these bad boys where you gotta. Why are they so much stronger than the ones that you fight? They don't drop anything, do they? Yeah, you just gotta get through here. Like, there's no point in even hanging around in here. Just go downstairs. I think. I might be wrong. There it is. Alright. Um, I don't think I want to fight these with a rusted longbow. Like, I think that would be ineffective. So, <laughs> let's make this as quick as possible. Yeah. 
So the game plan is basically don't let it hit you. Number one, really don't let you, don't let it hit you. I mean, it's just that simple. As a ranger, you kind of have a nice little advantage in that. kind of just run away at full speed. Oh, I, I still have all the dark stuff on it, don't I? Oh, you lucky. Son of a gun. Oh, there it is. Eyeball. That's annoying. Let me check my guide for the best way to kill these things, because I'm pretty sure that was really slow compared to what you could you could do. Um So while while it's midair, you can you can chop the circles off. Okay. See, I was like, I could have sworn I had an easy time with this as a warrior. So that means this has to be a halfway simple thing that I'm just screwing up. No. Yeah. So while it's midair like that, you can just get freebies on its face. Alright, so while it's doing this, try to get... There you go. Tried it. <laughs> just trying to down it real quick. It looks like that works really well against it.
I just feel like I'm not doing any damage whatsoever to this guy. Maybe I'm too close, but seriously. Oh! It might help if I wasn't freaking using the rusted bow. Oh gosh, that was dumb. No wonder my damage output was so low. I actually did, did pretty fast kills on all the tentacles. Malchrist. Lots of Malchrist drops. That might be a good way to farm Malchrist. Take it down and let it reform its tentacles. Alright. I don't think I got any evil eyeballs because I don't see any red stones on the ground. Evil eyeballs are red stones. Yeah, no. I need like two or three evil eyeballs. And sometimes I get pretty. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sometimes I get pretty lucky and I get them, but I'm not getting that luck at this time around. Alright. This time we'll hot swap before the fight actually starts. There you go. <laughs> that way we're not doing that dumbness. Bring him out. No. That's an annoying ability. Alright. So you kind of go around it again? Let's try this. Oh, you almost got me. Almost got me. Almost got me. Look at you. You tried so hard. Oh, uh, I tried hard too. Stop it. Since when do I get hit by that? Do not pull up and be real of all times I've been hit by that, okay? I know I got, I've been hit by that before. I'm just trying to feel good about myself. And if you don't. I think this. Only got a couple left, right? You gotta be. Just go ahead and give it up soon. Oh, yikes. That just sounds... That just seems incredibly inconvenient that I blew up your last tentacle.
Alright, I got one evil eyeball this time, it looks like. Do I take it? Yeah, sure. It could be worse. The amount of time I'm spending farming, I can easily go rest three days and come back and get another evil eyeball. So let's head on out. I only got two wake stones for that though. That sucks. But I don't think this one drops that many wake stones to begin with. Ooh, chill. Put that away. Put that away. Cannot do they truly mean to blood madness? It's evil worth that more. What can I do you for? As you will. Okay, cool. Now I've heard what he has to say. As you will. What can I do you for? You seem tired, cousin. So be it. It's on my second day of rest. I still never went and got that per pure crystal too. No, actually I did, I did, I did. I didn't go get that extra. That's day three. Alright, so if the three day rest worked, then there should be another Gorkham area down on the beach for us to farm from. Three days worked. Go ahead and save it here then. Um it's easier to handle these guys when you're slow. There you go. <laughs> that was dumb. This guy kills me by jumping to the left, I deserve it. I might go to sleep though here.
Alright, Lion's dead. Oh, got the claw. Where are you running? Why are you running? Why are you running? No, it will not stop until you are fully consumed. That joint just be spitting me out. Oh, well, I guess from their point of view, they wouldn't know that the Arisen doesn't die from Brian. Doesn't even take damage from Brian realistically. All right. Uh, it feels good to actually be able to snipe something. Oh, that felt real good. was one of those things I needed, so I'm just killing some problems for them. Didn't get anything for the both of those kills. Golly. Like, no, it's not that easy, son. Oh. Oh. Uh, the ambush mattered. by your pawns. I really hope that next time they do a game like this, they make sure that um, the materials can't be used as uh, curatives by your pawns. Or at least they clarify if they can or not. Because it really sucks. If you're trying to forge an item in your pawn, like, you could have more items, but your pawn is using them. 
Um, okay. I'm going to go to Grand Star now. Sell some stuff. Yeah, I'm just low on everything I need. Oh, yeah, I just need money now. So, to get money. I guess I can go just attack all of them. Yeah, let's just start from the top and attack ram and stuff. I don't have a sword in vain. Let's just look at the rest of Everfall. Is there anything else I want to kill? Um, besides Evil Eye? Everfall, Post Dragon. So there's two cockatrices in Chamber of Apprehension. I do need to kill a cockatrice. There's also a cockatrice in Chamber of Resolution that I avoided last time. Um, by itself. And I think it also guards a... Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it guards Dragon Roar. I might be mistaken, though. So, it's top right. Um, that was number eight. I think that's 14 here. I wouldn't be able to tell if I've been here yet. Oh, perfect. Let's go. Oh, we're starting off with the nonsense. Gotta love it. Alright, Chamber of Resolution. What do we have? Nothing I care about. Elorian, Cyclops fell. Yeah, it doesn't look like a Dragon War is in here. There are Geosaurians in here, though. No, Dragon Roar is in this one. Okay, cool, let's do this. Being a rage is not gonna help you out. Helps me out. Okay. 
good. That was good money. Because of the wakestone drops. Just being at your side fills this pawn with vigor, Elizabeth. Kind of lame that they didn't hit the what you call it though, the ogre. I wish it did just like, I guess it didn't. They didn't aggro the ogre so that ogre didn't get hit. But I wish they did it though. You know what we need? We need Zully the Witch in this community. We need somebody who can just straight up hack these games and like look at different layers of animations and stuff. Like a Zully the Witch in the Dragon's Dogma community would be ill. You know what I'm saying? What? We just need somebody that's that kind of dedicated. Although I guess whoever wrote the science stock was pretty dedicated. Like, most people don't know what I'm talking about, but back in the days, like the first person who really did a great deep dive on this game, uh, wrote this Google document called Science, uh, etc. And like, they went really deep into the, uh, into all the different, um, Just everything, honestly. Like all the different, uh... You are so slow. You need to, you need to cast your buffs at the beginning of a fight. Beginning. Not the end, the beginning. Gotta make one. Alright, fine, I'll just hold on to the shards for now. What? Get, get from my line? No nonsense. Money drive is going really well, actually. Um, ooh. I guess she had, yeah, something I've never seen before. Scarts in them. Okay. Alright. 
trying to break it. This little pouchy pouch. Apparently, you can be hit by dark. Uh, by dark. Uh, You know, make this even faster and more reliable. If I did something as simple as, oh no, torpedo. I don't know if he gets torpedo. Looks like he might be torpedo immune. He yeah, looks like he's effectively torpedo immune. He might not be torpedo immune, but I've done so many shots to him. If something takes more than four. The 40 arrows to be torpored, it's effectively torpored in my eyes. Yeah, knock those out of the sky. That red light is. I don't know, but it's sinking. Okay. Well, what we can do now is we can go to jewel of time, jewel of petrification. Nah, we'll be cool without that. I'll clean up my inventory later. Uh, where is that? Dago on chess. I think I want to farm the chess right now since I'm already down here. Where is it? That looks like the chest over here. Yeah, next to some uh, stuff. Oh, <sighs> okay. We're 90 minutes in. Hopefully, we can get this quickly. Go negative. So this time I'm trying to get the Dragon Roar. Ooh. Since my pawns are all distracted by all the other items, it make, gives me more time. I like that. So you see how when I reset this room, it uh it created another version with uh well that is what is happening. There's two versions of this room, one with just the cockatrice and one with the cockatrice as well as some uh some Saurian buddies. So when you beat the first version of the room or when you beat either version of the room, the other version spawns in. So now I have the version with the cockatrice and the uh, and the saurian spawning for me.
so there's no real opportunity to reset our uh, our positions because we are instantaneously going into a fight against so many. I'm not sure if I'm doing Pulse 1 or 2. I'll just do whatever it feels like. Whatever feels right. Right now I'm just Because I haven't seen any rare items yet, so... Time I start seeing rare items pop up, I will know what Pulse I want to do. Also complicating things is that my pawns are so close that I'm pretty sure I can only reliably do up to Pulse 2. Like, there's no way I'm doing Pulse 4. And Pulse 3 seems... Unreliable at best. Is this chest supposed to drop wakestone shards so often? Or maybe it's because... Oh, okay. On top of that, I do have to worry about that cockatrice. Come on, give me some good luck. First of all, how are these golden eggs staying, you know, golden? They should be rotting, right? What food would you eat every day if you could? If I could eat any food every single day? I have to take into account health, taste, a lot of things, right? 
I don't know. Y'all drop in the comments what y'all would eat every day if you could. As far as I'm concerned, it'd probably be... So, down in Savannah, Georgia, they have this, uh... It's a shellfish, right? And I'm sure it's not just in Savannah, but it's called conch. Conch. C-O-N-C-H. That's how it's spelled. I know it's kind of weird to pronounce it. Because it's like, like, what? But they put in some spicy sauces and they sell it, right? That is the most banging thing on the planet. It's my favorite type of food. Um, if I could somehow have that every day, I would. I just have to figure out how to, uh, you know, I don't know, because it's spicy, so uh, it, it give me, yeah, that's the problem. Oh, still selling? I'm pretty sure, alright, so that was on number one. Still selling, I'm pretty sure you can just straight up buy that, right? And even if you can't, it's not good enough, I don't think, to, to be worth this amount of trouble. Like, I'd rather go ahead and get the, uh, the one I actually came for. Two. Nope. Yes, it's sold at sold at the ancient quarry. I can't see. Gosh. These guys are so close to me, I literally cannot see the flashes of the box. Well, it looks like the rare, the rare on Flash one was a uh, still satellite, so I'm going to Flash two. Giant coin pouch. That was close. Ah, uh, it looks like I'd be fine, even up to Flash three. The only thing stopping me from Flash 3 is probably going to be the pawns. Two. Good. Still sell A? Was still sell A Flash 1 or Flash 2? I could have sworn it was Flash 1, but we'll be alright. It might be Flash 2, too. I'm going to keep on with Flash 2 until I get another item. If it's another still sell A, then I'll try Flash 1 again. I might not have been paying attention. Hit hit uh hit the box with flash one and start with thought it was flash two. <laughs> uh getting unlucky again.
temporada 2. Reset. What's your favorite movie or show that most people haven't heard about? Hmm. The thing is, I'm not a big TV movie watcher, so it's kind of hard for me to think of a movie that I've seen that most people haven't heard about. Unless we get deep into the world of anime or something crazy like that. Like... If somebody asked me, like, what's your favorite anime that most people haven't heard about? I'd be like, maybe Redo of Hiller, I guess. I don't know. But then again, there's a lot of really good anime out there. There's a lot of really, really good anime out there. Oh, Dan Machi. No, no, not Dan Machi. Mondaji. Mondaji is definitely the best show that I've seen that I don't think most people have heard of as far as anime goes. Movies? I don't know, man. It's kind of hard. I would say Blazing Saddles, but everybody should have heard of Blazing Saddles, it feels like. Like, hmm. what's a really good movie? So there's one. This, there's this one Japanese movie. It's not an anime, but it's a Japanese movie. It's called The Blue Light. And I don't know why but this movie made me cry, and I couldn't even understand it because it was on like the Asian Network back in the day. And I couldn't understand anything that was going on, but I knew it was mad sad. And I think I caught, like, the last maybe 30, 20, 30 minutes of the movie. And, like, that really had a, an indelible effect on me. So, I, that'd probably be it. Because that's where my mind goes first for that question. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what else I could think of. And that's definitely one that most people, especially Americans, haven't heard of. outside of like really out of the way stuff all I really watch are the mainstream ones that get really huge <laughs> give me some luck come on I'm not even seeing the randomness. Like. Okay. How, here's another question. Here's one for the comments. Who is your celebrity crush? 
Celebrity Crush. That's a tough one. Because what is a celebrity? Is it like, there's so many levels of celebrity now. It used to just be TV stars, movie stars, and music stars, right? Like, that. that's why if you were a triple threat, you did music, singing. But now it's like, what is a... What is a celebrity? Is it somebody who has a million followers on YouTube? Is it somebody who has... Who's on a TV show at all? Like, would you guys... And I'm not saying this is my crush. Would you guys consider Morgan Webb a, a celebrity? Some people would. Some people would. Like, at this point, you've got a lot of public figures. IG models. That type of deal. It's just really hard to des describe what is a celebrity nowadays. A-list, B-list, C-list, D-list, YouTube-list. I guess that's the Y-list. Um, IG-list. Like, there's so many levels of celebrity nowadays. Everybody wants to be a social media influencer. Yeah, you've got... Influencers... What what was the other thing I just said before? Public uh not private, public something. But you, you get where I'm going with this. Like, I don't know how to describe a celebrity. And I don't know if I really have a celebrity crush. Like I'm not just like thinking wow. I would give anything to be with. Let me pick a somewhat cute celebrity. Oh, well, I guess the... No, I, I'm not even really that attracted to that person. But Like, the closest thing I could say, oh, wow, that's that's a really cute celebrity, would be uh, Zendaya. Otherwise, I don't really care about celebrities. Like, it, it doesn't cross my mind at all. So... Yeah, I'm not really a, uh, I'm not really. Oh my gosh. My, my luck with this is so bad. I just wanted this to be a quick farm, guys. I really did. I really did just want this to be a very quick farm. It's not working out. Why couldn't I just get that holy kuis <laughs> luck again? <laughs> Where I got on the very first shot. So I'm getting a ton of eggs. You know what I really like about um, Elden Ring? It's that you don't have to do this. At all. At all. You do not have to do this at all. Like, the most farming you're going to do is for, like, enemy drops. Like... Don't get me wrong, Warhawk's Talon was an annoying farm. That was an, an annoying farm. That was a terrible farm. I would never want to do that again. Oh, you know what else was a really bad farm? Um, Magma. Magma Blade. And I know I'm talking about a game that you, that's not this game, guys. But you have to understand, that is a bad farm. Like, that is a bad farm. But at least it's a weapon that, you know... You get it, and it's it's not like you're hitting a box in a in a single player game. Like, why am I hitting a box in a single player game? Like, that makes no sense to me. And why does this box have such a low rate of goodies?
Yeah, so if I let the pawns open it, they'll open it all flash through. Twilight Greaves. Um, do I just take him and run? That's an honest question. Right, what am I wearing for Greaves right now? Oh, I'm wearing Holy Kalisses. There's no real reason to use Twilight Greaves. Plus, Twilight Greaves can be gotten in Bitter Black pretty quickly. There's no reason for me to have these. It would be a good it would be a good get under any other circumstance, but not on this one. Alright, we're getting up to the twenty seven minute mark of farming here. So if I was going for Twilight Greaves, that would have been a twenty seven minute farm. Of course, she would open it early. I'm about to start trying out uh, button flashes. Because the button flashes go faster, so they're probably more accurate as far as the random number generator goes. Thank you. 
if that worked, I would have been so mad. I mean, happy mad, but ha mad. Wounded Heart. Okay, Wounded Heart is a rare weapon drop. Pretty sure you can just buy that though. So that's annoying. Nice! Got the Dragon Roar. Okay, cool. And that was a 33 minute farm, I believe. That wasn't that bad. At least it wasn't a 57 minute farm like last time. That was really annoying. That one, maybe it's because of the tolerance I built up a little earlier, but I don't feel as bad about that farm as I do did about the one I did earlier. So, 124 minutes, so 2 hour, 4 minute mark. I'll put that in the comments. Probably two hour, yeah, two hour, three minute mark. Okay, so now we got that. Let's go make some money. By make some money, I mean sell the stuff we got. And then I'm gonna get set up to fight the uh, Ur, Ur, Ur Dragon. Master works all, you can't go wrong. Do I want to keep one on me? Just in case. Yeah, we'll probably be fine. I'll keep one on me. Yeah, I'll keep one just in case I need it. Like really need it for the Ur Dragon fight. The master works all you can. And we can enhance Saurian Bane. Um, we're not upgrading Griffin Black. Golden Lion Helm. Oh, 
We still don't have an answer for Dark Lorca yet. We need to go get one more evil eyeball, so we'll go do that real quick. Um, I might as well just jump straight down. Hopefully there's been enough time passed. That sucks. <laughs> is there a quicker way down? Oh yeah, there is. Right there. So, roll off this. Yep. And let's check equipment. I'm not really worried about that, actually. Um, but that's all damage, right? Alright, I need one more evil eyeball. Oh no, there wasn't enough time to reset. It looks like. Yeah. It's not here. That's fine. I can duplicate the evil eyeball I got in my... Inventory real quick. Oh, hello. Yes, yeah, word. I got three rare drops at the very end there. Like in the in the last six minutes of that farm, I got three rare drops. I'm sure you'll find. <laughs> yeah, I do more than I do of that. All right, evil eyeball. Ember crystal is going to become important to the farm too, but not right now. Oh, I only have one of them. Where is it? Is this it? Yeah. I'll not be. I'm sure you'll any time. So I'll give me number three. I'll advance time. Um, that actually might have been useful, but we'll pretend it wasn't. Oh, <laughs> uh, we can put this away. The main reason I want scalding razors is for hydras. But realistically, it, it's great for hydras if you're going solo. That that is the undeniable truth. Yeah, I'll keep it on me. Saurian Bane is good too. 
the rest of the longbows, okay. Well, it's one of the best weapons you can use. <laughs> I shouldn't say it's just okay. Alright, so the whole point of Dragon Roar is that it increases your, uh, I think it increases your strength and, um, your magic by, like, 7 each or something like that. It's a great, um, it's a great headpiece. As you will. One of my favorites in the game. Okay, so, I can demonstrate that actually real quick. Where's that? Dragon Roar. Yeah. So you can see that right there. How much it increases your stats. As you will. What can I do to take that? I want to get ready for our dragon real quick. So I'm going to get set up like I'm about to fight the air dragon. Which means well, always. I would go into a early fight with at least 12 of these bad boys. Yeah, that's the only thing I don't like is how long of a run you have to take in order to get back into the. Like, take all the time you like. Um, does she have mushroom potages? She should, right? She doesn't have mushroom potages. Who sells mushroom potages? Oh well. Okay, so you can buy these. A stack big enough to kill Erdy is going to cost a lot. It's fine though. I'm more concerned about my ability to... Take all the time. No, we'll just go with it. Let's go get that evil eye down first. Um, eight, ten, eleven, thirteen, fourteen. No. I was shot. I don't want 14, I want 13. Alright, one. Eight, ten, eleven, thirteen. Hope oh, I got it right. Got it right.
There you are. Almost caught me slipping. So you want to conserve stamina during this piece, I guess, because the less stamina you use, the more you'll have for the knockdown phase. I wonder how much you can sell these for, because I get a lot of them every time I fight this guy. Hopefully they're worth a good, pit, a pretty penny. What? No oh, evil eyeball. Why? It really is a pretty rare drop.
kind of fast forward. This is fighting a little bit. A little bit of a fast forward there. <laughs> Yeah. If you can find a point where he's actually, like, vulnerable and get a good amount of hits on his eyeball, yeah, it works out pretty well for you. Get to skip the entire tentacle phase. Go straight for the, uh, for the part that matters. Why are you always half dead? I have questions. Go figure. I don't think I got any wake stones out of that though. Let's check. I got two. Maybe three. So one thing I haven't used yet that I could use Oh, you know what probably works really well that I didn't even think of using? Hydra Husk with Blast Arrows. I'm a dummy. I didn't even think about using Blast Arrows with Hydra Husk. That would probably have solved my problem instantaneously. I feel like going down there and trying that out right now. Like, I really do feel like just going down there and trying that out. Um, yeah, I would only need to bring like 50 Blast Arrows with me. That'd get it done. Um, Malachris sells for, actually sells for more than, it, than the evil eyeballs do. The petrified eye of a Saurian? What? <laughs> okay, sure. So this, and this. Whoa. Don't sell hers. You sell it too. Dark Lorica. Nowhere near. Nowhere near enough money to upgrade that. But that's cool. Um, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to go ahead and do what I was just talking about, which was... Buy a couple of... Uh, I have no idea where to get mushroom pottages right now. I'm pretty sure you can buy those. I just... Is it only from Fornival? It might have been a Fornival thing. Anyway, I'll buy nine of these. And a whole lot of blast arrows. Fifty of them. I'm betting 50 blast hours is enough to to put down uh, what you call it. All right. So we'll go ahead and give these to her. Also, why am I so heavy? It'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. Oh, I'm not even carrying the, what you call it, the Hydra Husk right now. I didn't even start to think about the fact that I could equip blast arrows on Hydra Husk. Yeah, if I did that, that it would have been a done deal with blast arrows. Because I normally don't even... That's my main problem is I don't play yellows enough to really think about that kind of stuff. Um, what will it be today? Get rid of these milks. Don't really care about them. What will it be? To 
I don't need to carry around a resist body anymore, right? I can get rid of that. Yeah. What will it be to have your come again? Quest? Grim Goblins. Okay. Oh. Slipping. Have your pick. What will it be today? What will it be? Have your pick. Come on. If the Iver pick, have your pick. What will it be today? I just have to carry around so much stuff that it gets impossible to regulate my weight. <gasps> Gotta regulate. I've never been here before. So it's probably going to one right under here. Yep. Just had to hesitate a little bit to get the chamber of hesitation. that damage basically nothing okay So that dark crit from a dazzle blast. Actually, you guys know that this doesn't do any damage, so just look at the power of dark crits by itself. The dark crits by themselves do that much damage. It's like stupid. goes from doing zero damage effectively to doing a lot more than zero. Okay, I can see it.
Stop it. Stop it. You are lucky I'm not doing any damage anymore. Okay, now I'm hoping this works out because I do, I do just get a dark buff, so hopefully with the dark buff, the blast arrows, and all that combined, it's like instant death for, uh, for our good old friend, uh, here, the arc. Hydra. Um, let's go ahead and equip. I'm going straight for it. Stamina's good. Go. Cool. Going straight for it. All right, cool. We're in a good spot. I'll just do that. The rest should take care of itself. That worked out. Instantaneous. <laughs> Instantaneous kill. I'm surprised at how easily these guys are getting smoked. Like... Can't see.
That just feel a lot easier. Just using the uh the stronger uh setup there. That's pretty much all bow. Beyond our means, there is no shame in fleeing. But I think that's kind of slow, too. around my extra I saw those three honestly I officially think I'm done with Saurian Bane and Hydra Hus for now. I'll upgrade them later. As you will. What can I do? Take care. Yeah. But you, what can I do you for? As you will. One week's on Shara go hurt. Hello. Oh. To think on it now, I've been here going. The dragon's coming didn't change much, and it's dying changed less still. I only wish I had more. Look. We'll see what you got. Not all that much, actually. She does carry blast arrows, though, so that's a plus. I think they're the same cost. Maybe it's cheaper. I'm not sure. I only wish I had more. You always. Hello. I 
I saw Valmira walking around. I was confused as to how he got back so quickly. He was supposed to be going on a journey. Some need of me? Oh, any relic you want. Any Wait, why does Valmira come back and Mercedes doesn't? I guess Mercedes hangs out in the castle, so it'd be kind of hard to catch her. That's one thing they need to change about the game. Get Mercedes somewhere else to hang out besides the uh, the castle. Okay. Well. Money, 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 money. Money. I don't think I'm going to be able to upgrade to Dark Lorica before I go down and fight the, uh, the Ur Dragon. So I might as well get ready to go do that now. So. Sell. Those three wake stones. You defeated the dragon. Yes, yes, huzzah for you, good sir. <laughs> he is not enthused by the fact that I killed that dragon. It's like, bro, do you not see this hole? <laughs> do you not see this hole in front of us? Uh, actually, I, I, okay, I'll give this the game this. It is underrated when it comes to uh, the amount of. Uh, Chamber of Lament. So Chamber of Lament is notable because it's the only one that's just a straight, small bridge. So it's theoretically the hardest one to catch it on to. And this is where the Earth Dragon spawns. It's a very unique chamber. Um, so next time we'll be going in there and we'll be smashing up the Earth Dragon's face. But until then, as always, peace and chicken grease. I've been myself. You've been awesome. Cheers.